Alex and Christine, actually four new bills were announced today that goes after the uh, the gun lobby and the gun makers. But the one that brought out the most passion from Governor Newsom is the one that is closely modeled after the Texas anti-abortion law. STM Security Services' Stephen Moore can easily pick out the bad guy on this target. He can also pick out what he calls the overreach of a new bill to allow private citizens to sue gun manufacturers. So it'd be akin to saying, I'm opposed to cars because they kill people, or you get in an accident and they kill people. But it boils down to the individual who's driving the car or who's handling the vehicle that's responsible for um, its actions. The politicians announcing the bill, modeled after a Texas law deputizing citizens to go after abortion providers, made it clear the effort has two goals. You can't talk about rises in crime without talking about rises in gun violence. In California, the increase that we have seen in our homicide rate is almost exclusively the result of gun violence. And challenge the Texas law. If Texas can use a law to ban a woman's right to choose and to put her health at risk, we will use that same law to save lives and improve the health and safety of the people in the state of California, allowing you to enforce the illegal sales and manufacturing of weapons of war and assault rifles. Moore doesn't see it that way. Instead, it will impact the law abiding citizen, but I don't see how to really stem the flow because there's a huge black market for it, and that'll only increase the black market for these types of things. Assemblyman Phil Ting pointed out that the gun makers are the only industry that are not held liable for the harm that their product may cause. That's because on the federal books is the Federal Protection of Lawful lawful commerce in arms act so if that state law passes expect to see that challenged in the supreme court as well reporting live in inglewood i'm susan here with soon fox 11 news